All right, crew, we are talking energy today, specifically types of energy. Now, y'all are all aware of potential and kinetic energy. That's the easy part. Uh, we're not going to be so concerned with just those two differentiations by themselves is what you can do with the two of them. The TEQ you're working with is this one, 6.8a, which states that the student is expected to compare and contrast potential and kinetic energy. That part is easy. Uh, potential is, of course, the energy that's waiting to be used, and kinetic energy is energy of motion, but what are the different kinds? You all remember the law of conservation of energy, which says that energy cannot be created or destroyed. You can't create it, you can't make it go away, all you can do is change it into other things. So what are these other things? Well, the first kind is called mechanical energy. Now, you guys don't have to worry about writing furiously quickly here. I'm going to give you a summary page at the very end, but I'm going to go real quick through these bits here just to give you a little taste of some examples. This is energy due to an object's motion, if it's kinetic, or position, if it's potential. Uh, for example, here's a bowling ball knocking over some pins right here. This bowling ball has loads of mechanical energy that it is transferring to the pins because they're getting all knocked around. Here's some examples. You have our bowling ball and pins over here. You have a dude skiing over here. You have who looks to be Michael Phelps swimming down there in the corner. So these are things in motion. Now, motion you think of as energy, but what about electromagnetic energy? Well, there you have a little radio tower over here. Here you have a cell phone. But it can also be light. Light is a kind of electromagnetic energy. It can be gamma rays, which is pretty harmful radiation, the stuff that created the Hulk. Uh, it can be x-rays. It can be ultraviolet rays. It can be visible light, infrared waves, microwave radiation, radio. All that kind of stuff is considered electromagnetic energy. You have electrical energy. This is the stuff that flows through power outlets. And this is any energy caused by the movement of electrons. That is to say, if electrons are moving along something, it's electrical. Uh, a pretty easy way to think of it is if it's going along power lines, it's probably electrical. Chemical energy is when you have a chemical reaction. Here you have a match burning. This is chemical energy. Uh, it's energy that is transformed when a reaction takes place. In this case, you strike the match, you have chemical energy that's stored in chemical bonds, and it gets changed into thermal energy in the form of fire. Pretty easy, right? Chemical energy can include this little hunk of charcoal over here, or carbon, because it burns. The energy stored in batteries is chemical energy, as well as any food product, because that's what your body breaks down to create energy. Thermal energy is heat. When you have heat energy, it's also known as thermal energy, and it's how active atoms are in something. Any hot object is one where you have excited atoms. Any cold object, the atoms move more slowly. Okay, here is your summary page. First off, you've got mechanical energy, energy of movement, electromagnetic energy, energy of electromagnetic waves like light or cell phones or microwaves. You could also have sound energy that anything like that. If it moves through a solid liquid or gas to get to our ears. Chemical energy is any energy released from chemical bonds. Electrical energy is if it's generated through electricity. Nuclear energy, which I chose to leave out of the last little bit, is released during nuclear reactions like in nuclear bombs or our sun. Our sun is a big old nuclear furnace. And last off, you have thermal energy. That's any energy that changes the temperature of an object. Okay, I'm going to kindly ask Ms. Starr right now to pause the video and give you all an opportunity to note these seven kinds of energy down in your journals. Okay, do that now. I'll wait patiently.